This past year, there were more Google searches beginning with why than ever before. Overseas vaccine rates are much lower and the virus... Why can't I sleep at night? Why is it called COVID-19? Why are there so many fires raging? Why can't our leaders just get along? Why is there no end to all this confusion? When Google doesn't have the answers, try asking your children what they learned at Hebrew school this year. Here's how it all began. You see, God created our world as a beautiful garden. It was His home. In His home, goodness, kindness, and peace flourished. It was a place where people felt God's presence naturally. Sadly, through sin and corruption, God's light in our world was hidden. Over time, a veil of confusion covered God's beautiful home. A wave of violence, suffering, and pain enveloped our world. Would our world ever return? Is this the way it is going to remain forever? Will we ever get to live in that beautiful home our world was truly meant to be? Yes! At Mount Sinai, God entrusted us, the Jewish people, with a special mission to bring God's light back and once again make this world feel like God's home. He promised us we could and we would do it, and he told us how. You see, each and every time we do a mitzvah, a little more light breaks through the darkness and invites God back home. When we extend kindness to others, when we proudly display our commitment to our traditions and heritage, when we eat kosher food and celebrate Shabbat, when we express our gratitude to God for the blessings in our life, we are actually adding light, weeding out the darkness and preparing our world for Mashiach. Brother, can you tell us the message you have for the world about Mashiach, the message you have for the whole world about the Mashiach? She was printed in all the press of all the in a country. The Mashir is ready to come now if it's only from our part to do something additional in the realm of goodness and kindness. Yes, Mashiach is what we are all waiting for. Mashiach is the time when God will come back home and our entire world will once again feel his presence. It will be filled with peace, goodness, kindness, health, and laughter. Yes, with so much confusion, this world sometimes feels more like a jungle. It's hard to believe this is going to happen, but God promised us that through our mitzvahs, He would come back home. In the most trying of times, we've never given up. We've remained committed to fulfilling the mitzvahs and completing the mission once and for all. So let's stop asking Google why and start asking Hebrew school students how. How much charity should I give? How can I do another mitzvah today? How do I put up mezuzahs on all my doorways? How can I help bring Mashiach today? <laughs>